What's up guys, it's Jamie Grace. I, I thought, oh, I thought that was my hair. That's, that's a mic stand. Uh, hey guys, Jamie uh, Grace here. Oh my gosh. Hi, uh, wanted to make a video. I just wanted to be like, what's up, how are you guys doing? So I'm currently wearing makeup. I, I wear makeup very seldom, especially these days. Um, I actually enjoy wearing makeup, I think it's fun. But especially like these last few weeks, it's a it's a very seldom occasion. So um, we all went out to church, like me and my my sister and her husband and my husband. I should have said me and my husband. Okay, so the four of us. <laughs> I'm awake. The four of us went to church together tonight, um, and it was great. And so I kind of was like, let me brush my hair. Uh, not that the Lord is gonna be disappointed if I don't, but uh, let me just you know try to make myself presentable. Um, and uh, um, so I had some leggings on that I had kind of worn for a long amount of days and I put on a jacket over it and I just came home and swapped that jacket out for this sweatshirt that I've had since sixth grade. Um, and uh, I'm still wearing the leggings. <laughs> so I have hesitated to talk a lot about pregnancy out of like the insecurity of like, I feel like the only people that make YouTube videos about pregnancy are like the people that have been pregnant four or five times and like that already have the kids. And it's like, I feel like, what do I, like what, what can my voice have to contribute? And then I reminded myself, little girl, you pregnant, you could talk about your story without having to be like, this is the pregnancy conversation. This is just my story. Why is my lip like falling? So one thing about where I am in pregnancy, I'm like nine, 10 weeks, somewhere around there. Every time I say that to someone that has especially like been pregnant, but even like people that have, you know, had a sibling who was pregnant or a close friend that was pregnant, their response is always, oh, or, ooh, he gets better. Or, ooh, it's, it's always, it's some kind of like, emotional response, like letting me know that somewhere in the next two to six weeks, everything is about to be bliss and it's gonna be energetic and wonderful, maybe. Like, you know, you, there's no 100% on these things, but it's very common for a lot of women, like in the early stages of pregnancy to be like, Ugh. I've been struggling with that, with like just pure exhaustion and like food is not something that I'm interested in. I'm like at like force feeding saltines mode. And I'm, I'm doing it wrong. I'm getting great advice from my community, from my doctor. I feel so blessed to have like two of my best friends. I've got a pediatrician and a prenatal nurse. Those two of my best friends. My aunt's a nurse. Like I feel so blessed to have such a great community. But I'm like, I'm, I, the consensus that I have gathered from all these incredible people with all the advice and suggestions and everything, I'm not fun pregnant yet. And that is like, it's on its way. Like we're very, we're very close to fun pregnant. The thing that's interesting about all of this, what this sweet little human, I don't know why I put my hand here, this is for the babies. What this sweet little human baby child has taught me in its few weeks of living, I have like learned so much that like, Wait, I don't know what I was gonna say. It's so easy to sit in the moments that are difficult in life and to think about when it's gonna get better. Like, it can be easy. Because like, when I tell people like, I'm not feeling well or I'm exhausted or whatever I say is going on, their immediate response is to start talking about how it's gonna get better or you know when it's gonna get easier. And it's, and I'm not blaming anyone, I'm not faulting anyone, but I find it fascinating that it can be so convenient for us as a human nature people to talk about how much better things will get when maybe there's something equally as beautiful with finding the joy in what feels like misery. Like maybe it's not always about looking at tomorrow and saying, this is how much better it's gonna be. Maybe some of the magic, because I like the word, but we're not talking about magic here. Maybe some of the magic, maybe some of the glory is saying, 
this pain is worth what I'm going through. Not so much because I'm already looking to what good is going to come out of it, but I'm choosing to celebrate the good that is already in the complex and the difficult and the frustrating. I've become very philosophical. I'm so wildly intellectual. Sign me up to write new Narnia books. Like say hypothetically, the first trimester is awful and the second one is magical, right? I don't want to spend the whole first trimester going, oh, the second's gonna be great. I want to spend like part of this, all of this, um, saying like, Lord, how can I still find your beauty in what I really don't physically want to go through? Like, how can I still find joy in the stuff that like, like makes me want to vomit every day? And like, maybe sometimes I do. Like, how can I still find joy? How can I still find peace? How can I still find rest? How can I still find you in the stuff that sometimes I feel like I don't see you? without always saying, give me better, give me tomorrow, give me new, give me refreshing. Like, no, 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 refresh my mindset where I am because life doesn't always promise better. Life doesn't always promise easy. Life doesn't always promise tomorrow. So like, like, can you just get me at the point where I'm like rejoicing in this regardless of if tomorrow even comes? Yeah, so that's where I met. I met like emotional, embracing the emotions, embracing the patience of my husband, embracing the fact that I have seen everything on Netflix. There is nothing on Hulu or Netflix that exists that is relatively wholesome that I cannot quote. So I've seen it all. I went to Costco, that was nice. We bought a couch and a table. I'm really pumped about that because you guys know we just moved to our, um, like we just moved to like our, our first place together when we got married. We made my place our place, which is cool. It's great. It's cute. So now we like start over because I've started over completely. We don't have our couch yet. It's getting delivered, but that's, um, that's not on topic. Anyways, that's just what I've been thinking about lately, you guys. I'm still working, I love my job, and I'm doing what I can. Not ashamed to say what I can't do. But yeah, I'm still singing songs sometimes. <laughs> I'm still recording my podcast, Wait It Out. By the time this video is up, it'll be back on a regular schedule. Um, and I'm still grateful for just like life and stuff. I don't know where this is going. I feel like I've said all I wanted to say, and I also feel like there's a small human uh, uh, that doesn't speak English yet, but somehow is able to communicate that it's ready to go to sleep. Hi, babe. Well, thanks for watching this video. I'm sure I made it a lot of sense. <laughs> I love y'all. I'll <laughs> see you soon. I love you already. Oh, that's good money thing. That's actually what I do in, well, I do this all the time. That's why I put it at the end of my videos, but I also do this a lot. Like, I did it to a girl at Target today. I was like, thanks. I think her name was Natasha. Babe, what was the girl's name at Target earlier? Oh, it was, it was Tabitha. The girl's name at Target. At Target? Yeah, the girl that worked at Target that was really nice. Tabitha? Yeah, yeah, it was Tabitha. We like making friends. Get back.